In other news tonight, elevators are a mechanism used by thousands of people each day. But what happens when an elevator gets stuck with people inside? ABC 10's Melanie Palmer has the details on what you can do if you find yourself in that situation. For many people, getting stuck inside of an elevator is a huge fear. And throughout Marquette County in the past couple weeks, the Marquette City Fire Department has answered several calls on people stuck inside of elevators. The Marquette City Fire Department decided to help me out and show me how they get people who are stuck in elevators out safely. While a normal reaction to being stuck in an elevator could include a feeling of stress and even hyperventilating, the fire department wants you to know that you are safe and there is enough oxygen in there for you to stay in there as long as needed. Don't panic. Um, sometimes there's a phone in an elevator where you can make a call and they'll dispatch us. Other times it'll set an alarm off so people will know that you're in there. Um, biggest thing is don't panic. If it stopped, you're safe and it might just take some time to get you out. Waiting in an elevator for the fire department to arrive can take longer than expected because of certain procedures that must be executed in order to properly open the doors. We're worried about the victims and the rescuers, so we always shut the power down in the elevator right away. And sometimes that takes time because it could be up in a penthouse or it could be uh, below grade, so it takes a little bit of time to get there and shut the power off. Once the power is turned off, the closest floor to get the victims out is located and a key is used to open the doors. Being someone who is personally terrified of getting stuck in elevators, I decided to face my fears head on and get intentionally stuck in an elevator. Right now I am actually waiting inside an elevator while the Marquette City Fire Department gets me out safely. After only a couple minutes of being in the elevator, the doors were unlocked and opened swiftly. The Marquette City Fire Department did stress to me that the most important thing to do when you're stuck in an elevator is to remain calm and know that help is on the way. I'm Melanie Palmer for ABC 10 and CW5 in Marquette.